what's going on guys in this video we're gonna do a basic introduction to scapy now what is scapy scapy is a python library that enables you to send sniff dissect and forge network packets so a lot of fun stuff you could do with it and this is basically just an introduction into it so yeah let's jump into it and see how to install scapy so here we have a bunch of different instructions for different versions of course the easiest one is probably going to be using pip so you could just pull up a command prompt and for python 3 we could do hyphen m pip install scapy and there we go you can see requirement is already satisfied since i've already installed it previously but that should go ahead and download it for you there's a few different dependencies that you could opt in and you can find out more about that on the link i have over here i'll also put it down below so once you do have it installed i also recommend having wireshark installed so you could go ahead and download that since we'll be sniffing and forging packets you definitely need something to verify that it's being done properly and Wireshark is definitely the way to go with that. Now for this video I'm on Windows. If you're using Kali Linux or another pen testing distro you probably already have Scapy installed since a lot of tools require it. Now let's jump into some of the good stuff. So you could just type in Scapy once it's already installed and that should pull it up. So there we go. I have Scapy running right now and let's take a look at some of the basic commands and the basic functionality so some of the most simple instructions is going to be sniffing packets so let's say we just want to sniff 10 random packets we could just do results equals sniff and then we do count equals 10 and we have to wait a little bit so the packets can come through and there we go we just sniffed 10 packets and we could do results dot show and there we go that shows the 10 packets and then let's say we wanted to see details about a specific packet here we could just do results and we could put the index for that array so let's say we want to take a look at this packet number four here so that would be three right because it starts at zero and there we have it so it shows you everything from the ethernet layer and then from the ip layer and from the tcp layer if you're confused about all of this i'm gonna talk about this a little bit later on so you could have a better idea of the encapsulation and all that stuff going on but basically this allows you to pull up a microscope into the packets and see the nitty gritty see the little details a lot of stuff that you wouldn't necessarily see just running a tool and stuff like that so very useful especially for people taking certifications or if you want to take a deep dive into some of these details now let's say you want to sniff packets for a specific protocol so let's do like a simple protocol here we'll do results and let's do sniff count equals 10 and we'll do the filter and we're going to do icmp which is the ping protocol basically to test connectivity and also for ipv6 you could also use icmp for other purposes but we're not going to get into that right now all right so we're running it now let's open another prompt here and i'm going to go ahead and ping google you can see we're still waiting here on the reply from sniff until we sniff 10 packets it's still going to keep running and i'll sniff another website here could do my blog there we go Cool. All right, so you could see that's enough. Now let's show the results. And let me expand this a little bit. And yeah, there we have it. So we sniffed 
just these packets over here and then of course if you wanted to double check on this you can fire up Wireshark and choose your interface here minus Ethernet and let's choose let's filter for ICMP like that and you can see there's nothing there and let's run the same thing over so let's do results sniff filter ICMP all right so it's sniffing so on the second command prompt we can run the command back here to ping and there we go you can see now the packets are coming through and we can ping Google again just to have enough packets for our sniff yeah so basically the first 10 of these packets will be shown over here once we do the show command and there we go you can see we got the proper IP addresses and of course if you want to go ahead and inspect a specific packet we could just put the index here and that would show us the details on that specific packet all right we got the time to live 128 hops address echo request so on so what are some of the other cool stuff we could do with scappy now the most useful will be creating packets right so that's definitely going to be the most interesting and where we could put this tool to the test and we're not going to get too in depth but we're going to dive into some of the basic stuff so now let's go ahead and take a look at crafting a ping packet and before we get into that though one thing you need to understand is there is an encapsulation process in network packets so this is not the best image but it gives you a basic idea of how that works so you generate the data on the first few layers here and then once you reach the layer 4 you're gonna have a basically do I want to use TCP do I want to use UDP and then for the network layer obviously we're gonna add IP and finally for the data link layer we have the Ethernet frame but what does all of this have to do with SCAPI it's important to understand this stuff a little bit you don't have, need to be a genius at this but we will need to apply some of these individual layers in SCAPI and that's where you can take a look at some of the cool details and modify stuff and get unexpected results from it so that's the only reason why I mentioned this but you don't need to fully understand this so let's go ahead and craft a ping packet which should be pretty straightforward and then we'll go ahead and send it as well so we do packet equals ether see this is the frame right here so this is once we have the ether that's the layer 2 and then we're gonna put the IP layer here and you can see we use a dash to alternate between the different layers and protocols and stuff like that so IP and we're gonna do destination equals let's do google.com and then we do ICMP so this is a protocol that's why we also have to separate it with a dash and finally we can put a payload so basically let's just write howdy all right so that is our packet now let's go ahead and send this packet but before that let me pull up here Wireshark so we can see this packet in real time so let's do send p packet oops so i'm actually not running wireshark i stopped it so let's start running it again continue without saving and we'll send the packet again and there we go so there's our packet and let's take a look at it so of course in Wireshark you have all the different layers here as well. You got the Ethernet layer, you got the IP layer, and you can verify this is our message given that we have the howdy over here, right? That's the custom payload we added to it. 
There we go, length six. All right, so we've gone ahead and done that. And if you wanted to analyze the pack that we just created a little bit more, you could do show and it shows you some of the specific details. Now, what if we wanted to send and receive a packet? Because obviously we're gonna need to track down the replies to individual packets that we're sending once we're dealing with a little bit more of an advanced application using Scappy, right? Well, let's go ahead and create another ping packet, but this time we're gonna track the response through the Scappy itself. So before we were using Wireshark to verify, and you can see here that we did indeed get a reply from Google for the ICMP, the ping. Now this time, we're gonna do the packet and track it using Scappy, and that should be a good enough intro into Scappy. So we'll do google.com, and then close the IP layer, and then we start the ICMP, and we just add another payload. Hello there. And there we go, that's our packet. And now we do SR1, which is send and receive. And that's basically going to be limited to the first reply. So we do packet and there we go. And you can see right away, it sends the packet, finish sending, received four packets, got one answer. So zero packets remaining. And then it gives you a little bit of a description from the reply that we got for that packet, all right? So you can see here that this time the source is Google's address, destination is us. This is the protocol right here, ICMP, echo reply, and then it gives you some other info, checksum, blah, blah, blah. And then you can even uh, take a look at that more in depth using the show or the summary commands. And of course, you can also double check it using Wireshark. You can see this is the second one right here. But we've done all the tracking using Scappy. So some pretty cool stuff. And of course, there's some other commands that you could get into if you take a look at building your own tools. And I'm just doing this video because there's more stuff coming. Obviously, I'm not doing this just to tease you guys and leave you hanging. So I already have an another few scripts that I want to show you, but this is basically an introduction into it. So it makes it easier to digest the following parts. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you for the next one.